Should dogs be allowed to roam free at Bull Creek Park? Well, the city of Austin wants your help coming up with an answer tonight. If you visit the Northwest Austin Park now with a dog legally, it has to be on a leash. The city started requiring dogs to be on leash after the city suspected dog waste was the cause of high levels of E. coli in that creek. KXAN City reporter Reagan Hackelman has been following this story and joins us live from that meeting with more. Reagan? Well, Robert, late last week, the city of Austin basically released the six-month findings from a test they've been doing on the creek down there. They released those numbers to a very small group of people, and basically they found that the E. coli levels in the creek dropped significantly during the time that dogs were required to be on the leash. Now, tonight, about 30 or 40 people are here at the Mexican-American Cultural Center in downtown Austin uh, looking over those numbers and asking questions to the city of Austin, hoping to get some answers. Now, it was about six months ago, or a little more than six months ago that the city stopped allowing dogs in the in the park off their leashes. They did this after a test of Bull Creek near the dark park showed high levels of E. coli. The city basically says dog owners weren't picking up after their dogs, and when it rained, their dog's waste would run into the creek. But not everyone agrees with the city's findings. A group called Bull Creek Dog Off-Leash Group says wildlife in the area could be to blame for the high E. coli levels, not the dogs. In fact, there's really no way for the city to actually determine if it's dog waste or wildlife causing the problem. The only thing they do know for sure, it is not human waste. Now, did this, the decision to keep Bull Creek on leash or let it go back to off leash is up to the Austin Parks director. But the bottom line is we want to make sure that the park is safe. We want to make sure that the water is safe for our users. And so uh, we just want to look at all the options and make sure that we can meet those uh, needs of the community. Now, we're told the parks director should have a decision sometime in the next week or two. She's waiting for recommendations from both the health department and the water protection department here in the city of Austin. Now, KXAN did submit the findings from the city uh, to a biologist at Texas State University on Friday. We're hoping to get the result from that or to get his uh, interpretation of the numbers sometime this week. We'll be sure to let you know what he says once we get those numbers back. Reporting live from downtown Austin, Reagan Hackelman, KXAN Austin News.